But the, the word's out. People around the country are looking for Nashville. And what that means is when you're looking to buy a home, the competition is super stiff. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Well, you maybe have to make offers on three to five houses before you actually get the one that you get to purchase? Yes, because there's so much competition. When there's 20 to 30 people looking for the same price point house with some of the same amenities, you've got competition. Let's get in there. Let's fight together. I want to show you a few homes in different price points within the Franklin community that is right here in the great, great, great Williamson County, Franklin and uh, Independence High School region. By now, I'm sure you've heard about the stiff competition that we have going on here in the Middle Tennessee area when it comes to buying a home. Heck, I've just finished doing a multiple offer situation for one of my buyers in a home that was in the high 400 price point. We actually ended up going in competition against 21 other people who made offers and we lost out. We became number two and we made a very nice offer over asking price. Is it worth it to go through the struggles of buying a home here in the Middle Tennessee area? Absolutely. And the reason we have this going on is because so many people are trying to move here. It's our four seasons. Now, granted, I chose a glorious day for you, but it's our four seasons. It is the conservative atmosphere. Here in the Williamson County where I am, it's especially difficult within a certain price point when, because the Williamson County public schools are nationally known as being super schools. So if you want to save money and not spend 20 or so more possibly uh, per year per child in private schools, you want to get them in a good Williamson County school, you can pay a little bit more for your house, which by the way is a tax write-off, which by the way grows equity uh, in a way that um, you might have to save some of that money to buy in one of the other counties. Doesn't mean they're not great, it just means be prepared. I want to show you several different price ranges of homes here in the Williamson County area. Now, we are right smack in the middle of downtown Franklin, as in less than a mile away. Very close walking distance, biking distance. The homes we're going to see are all going to be within that very tight little radius. So they go to the Franklin High School or Independence High School. Again, acclaimed high schools. So the closer you get into a little the five points area, the more expensive homes are going to be. We're looking at price point up to 500 to a little over a million, but this will give you a range of what you can do right here. Now, if you don't have that much money, we'll just go a little bit further out, but I want you to get a real good feeling of what we've got. Is it worth all that competition to find your home here in Williamson County? I think it is. Let's take a look. I'm Susan Thetford with Nashville Redefined. Here on this show, we talk about all things Nashville and the Middle Tennessee area. If what it's like to eat, sleep, play, work, what do you do on the weekends? Why do people love it so much here? So if that's of interest to you, then I invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Every single week, you'll see a new show. And if you have ideas for topics, something you want to know, please go ahead and put that in the comments as well. I'd be more than happy to try to tackle that topic for you. I'm not joking. Every single week, we get calls, texts, emails from people looking for uh, information, wanting some help, and wanting to know more about Middle Tennessee area. Only way I can do that, though, is reach out. So I invite you to do the same thing. Reach out to us. We don't bite. Send up those calls, those texts. Send the smoke signals. Happy to answer any questions that you've got, and let's see if we can't get you a new home here in Middle Tennessee. Let's take a look at one of my favorite mid-range priced homes in the Franklin area, which is Spencer Hall. It's located just off of Highway 96 in Downs Boulevard. It's a traditional style, single family community, just a bike ride from Five Points in historic Franklin. Uh, it's a walking community. It's zoned for the top schools, Pierre Creek, Hillsborough Elementary, and Independence High School, which makes it such a highly desirable uh, community. There are about 150 homes with size ranging from 2,000 to 3,600 square feet, offering a great variety for many who would like to live here. The homes were built approximately 1997 to 2005 on one-third acre home sites. 
It has sidewalks, swimming pools, playground and clubhouse, lots of community events throughout the year, which including the Fall Fest and Easter Egg Hunt, and that's just within the community. And as you can see, it's quite located so close to downtown Franklin, there are a lot of other things to do as well. It's just a bike ride, as I mentioned, from downtown, 10 minutes from I-65, so you have very simple access into Cool Springs Mall shopping and so many corporate headquarters, plus Brentwood, and then on north a little bit more, 10 miles into downtown Nashville. There's only one home coming on the market in the next couple days, but the average home prices over the last six months uh, have been at, right at 500000 about 2,700 square feet, five days on the market. Things move quickly. Sales price to list price is running about 99%. Let's move a little further west on Highway 96 West to Carlisle Place. This is one of, of the very few gated communities in Franklin. It is only a couple minute bike ride to downtown Franklin and Five Points, developed in the early 2000s, featuring a wide boulevard, gazebo, sidewalks. Don't worry, I'm not driving this fast. Uh, one of the things that I love about it is it has alley parking, so alley access to get to your garage parking. Uh, it was developed in uh, the early 2000s, approximately quarter acre lot home sites, 100 homes. Carlisle is zoned for the very highly acclaimed Poplar Grove Elementary and Middle Schools and then Franklin High School. Let's take a look at what you can find in one of the very few gated communities here in Franklin, Carlisle. Carlisle was built, developed in the 2000s and uh, most of the homes were custom built. So you're gonna find a lot less traditional homes and more of exactly what people are looking for today. So not as much um, updating may be necessary. What you'll find is great use of the natural light, lots of windows, hardwood floors, very tall ceilings, good crown molding, all the typical. But the layouts will be very different than your typical traditional homes. So family room open to kitchens. Again, great use of that light. They're smaller lots, but they built homes typically around the courtyard, so you have a lot of outdoor privacy, almost creating its own outdoor rooms. The kitchens are all nicely appointed with the onyx uh, countertops if they've been updated, bright white, good backsplashes, nice touches, meant to be beautiful, open, usable, and all accessible. Now this home is one of the rarities uh, in the area that has its own backyard pool. That's a little bit unusual in that so many homes, until you get to the really super high price points, um, live in communities where they have a community swimming pool, tennis courts, clubhouses, that type of thing. Or many people belong to their own country clubs with, again, the golf course, the swimming pools, and those community accessibilities. It's not until you get to the multiple millions that people uh, have pools. So this home in particular is a rarity. Let's go back in and take a look at that master bedroom off of the main level down its own hallway. Again the tall ceilings, the nice appointments, uh, solid doors that you would notice um, with good hardware. Those are some of the amenities you better look for when you get to this upper price point homes. Double vanities that are separated, marble floors, quartz tops, slipper tub, just a lot of the bells and whistles that people are looking for today. Have his and her closets, but I didn't look in their closets. But the amenities you're looking for, this price point home is right over a million. The typical home in Carlisle is 4,300 square feet, four bedrooms, four baths. Average sales price in the last three months has been 890,000 with a sales to list price of 99%. So 
So let's turn out of Carlisle and head back east toward downtown Franklin on Highway 96 West. You're gonna pass the gas stations. You're gonna pass all kinds of amenities. One of my very favorite is both a drive-through barbecue place where you can get the best stuffed baked potatoes with whatever barbecue and fixings you want. The other thing is there's a, uh, several months of the year, a farmer's market on that left-hand side. You will find farmer's markets and pop-up markets around the Middle Tennessee area in the spring, summer, and fall months. So turning the corner at Highway 96 at the juncture of Hillsborough Road, turn north. Go a little bit past a couple blocks and you're going to get to the Chestnut Bend, our last tour. Off of Hillsborough Road, this is located right next to the Franklin High School and there actually are two entrances. Chestnut Bend was developed beginning in 1998. It is located walking distance from downtown Franklin and Five Points. There are a total of 168 homes with the average lot size of right at about a third of an acre. Two of the outstanding features that my customers love about Chestnut Bend is way beyond the proximity to downtown Franklin is that it parallels the four mile walking trail paralleling Harpeth River. They love the neighborhood pond uh, for just congregating and walking and meeting friends and also the fact that kids can walk to their Franklin High School. There is a neighborhood pool, cabana, and common grounds uh, and the community, there are so many different community activities that they do yearly. The Easter egg hunt, cookie swaps, bunko night, which is a very southern thing to do here, a pig roast, and something called a man cave, but I don't know what that really is. I've never been invited. The outstanding schools that Chestnut Bend is zoned for are Johnson Elementary, Freedom, Middle, and Franklin High School. These are all rated 10, and uh, be sure to check out the school ratings. I've got the description uh, down below so that you can check each and every school that you want to check out here in the Middle Tennessee area. Only one home has sold here in Chestnut Bend in the last six months. Only one home has been offered for sale. Like a lot of Middle Tennessee area Franklin homes, uh, we are very short on inventory. That was a four bedroom, three bath home. 3,300 square feet, priced at 625000 sold first day on the market. That was in October of 2020. What I'm showing you here is the back entrance on another day of Chestnut Bend, just so you see the accessibility. So that concludes today's tour of three neighborhoods that are walking distance to downtown Franklin. But if 500 to a million dollars isn't your price point, or you want a little more breathing room, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you find your ideal location when you're moving here to Middle Tennessee. So the only way I can know how to help you is for you to reach out. Send me an email, shoot me a text, blow those smoke signals, however you want to get in touch, I've got your back in Middle Tennessee. Now, you're seeing a bunch of other videos to watch and learn more about Nashville. And please go ahead and comment below, where would you like me to show you next? What kind of information do you need to make this be the best show possible for you and your needs. And as always, until next week or next time, God bless.